Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Do you remember this cow? You probably don't. But late last summer I worked on a cow and in that video, the video was titled something to the effect of sometimes hooves can't be fixed, we had a cow with an axial wall fissure coupled with some toe necrosis and I talked about how I couldn't get that foot to heal. Well, she's back in the trailer and I got a ton of questions on that first video. So this time I'm gonna answer those questions as I work on this cow once again. So let's get this foot shaped up and we'll get started. So on a normal foot, you're not gonna run your grinder in between the toes and remove any axial wall. But in this case, I know that this axial wall section is gonna need to come out because of this fissure. So I'm just removing some of that now with the grinder. So there's less to take out with my knife. So from this angle, you can see how that axial wall has split away from the sole. We've got a crack right here split. And as we swing around, we're gonna look from the bottom side. You'll be able to see up inside that hole there is that toe necrosis area. And then along this is that axial fissure as it runs up the axial wall along the top there. And what happens is, is because of that, as that axial wall grows and meets that area of necrosis, that sole and that axial wall never, um, re they don't remain connected. So that axial wall, will continue, as it grows out, tends to split. Now in that first video I talked about this is that the reason that this is what I would consider not fixable is this cow now, This she just calved, she's on her, this will be her fifth lactation that we've been treating this particular foot this way since the first time I should say that I treated her. So, but that first trim, those first few trims, actually probably the first three or four, we took this out all the way. I took that axial wall all the way out to the hairline, took all of that toe necrosis out. And the problem is, is when I did that, she became extremely lame. And that it needed to be done at the time to try to get this lesion to heal. If you didn't do that, if we didn't remove all of that loose horn, you really had no chance at getting this to heal because it, that infection runs up deep, that necrosis deep inside that claw itself. So treating it that way multiple times without success, the farmer and myself decided the best thing to do was just to, to take away the part of this axial wall that is causing her discomfort basically and put a block on there. She does extremely well with just a block on it. So, and you'll see this at the end, she walks with absolutely without favoring this foot whatsoever. And this particular 
uh, lateral claw has had a block on it for much of her adult life as a cow. Now, a lot of the questions I had were, well, why not just amputate that whole claw? You could do that, and that's an option for a lesion like this when you have toe necrosis and whatnot. But because this is an organic farm and the risk of infection without using antibiotics on an operation like that could cost this cow her life, technically could happen or possibly could happen. If we did use antibiotics, they can use antibiotics to do procedures like that, but then that animal can no longer be used um, in the food, food supply chain, organic food supply chain, whether it be milk, meat, etc. So in effect, she would then need to be sold off the farm, which no farmer wants to do that. So, and with the success we've had just blocking this foot and treating this to make her comfortable, that we just saw no reason to try to attempt that or to take that risk. Another uh, question we had was why not fill this big hole in with adhesive and try to get that wall to stay healed? In this situation, the, the problem is, is that infection is up inside the claw and that axial fissure is growing from the hairline down. So even though, even if we were to fill that entire area in, we're actually not solving that any problems because that wall is still not going to be separated or is still not going to be connected to that sole. So that um, option really wouldn't work either. So what I'm doing here is I'm just applying a wooden block again. The reason I'm using wood and not rubber in this case is because when we have cases of toe necrosis, cows have a tendency to want to rock back on their heels. So what this wooden block does is provide some... Uh, rigidity to that foot and keep it nice and firm, keep her from wanting to do that. Now here we can take a look at what that lesion looks like at the end. Now if you're a professional trimmer, you're saying, dude, you got to cut way more of that out. And like I said before, that's what I did in those initial trims when I began working on this to no success. It just made her really uncomfortable, really lame, took her weeks to get over working on that and it didn't work. So that's where we are today. Putting a block on, letting her go and just letting her walk it up, walk the way it is. And as you see, we're going to kick her out right now. She walks beautifully on that block. So every couple months, we just put a new block on and she's been doing great doing that. So we're going to continue. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope I answered some of those questions and we will see you all on the next one.